awesome tattoos. Yeah. There's probably a story behind them. So I have a lot of something. yeah. I mean, I have a Star Wars sleeve that isn't quite finished. It's uh, a couple of years in the making. This is done by Dan Belcher at Dead Presidents Lounge, and I just like I just got it because I love Star Wars, you know. And then uh, if you go, I have more Star Wars. I have a that looks like a Hulk dick, but it's actually the other end of a of a lightsaber that I have going through my neck. Um, that's all my Star Wars stuff. And then I have Homesick on my knuckles because I'm, I'm away from home so much that I, I miss it. Um, I have two birds on my hand that meet up in the middle. It's kind of a metaphor for life. You know, like the two same birds have the same exact journey. Uh, this one had an easy time getting through everything. You know, sometimes life's easy. This one had a rough time. It has an arrow through his head and stuff like that. It's, you know, life has its ups and downs. And that's it, really. Um, I have Mama's Boy on my, uh, on my hands right there because I love my mom. I've always been a Mama's Boy. Uh, it's, I just got so much. I got Mario Brothers tattoos because I love Mario Brothers. My girlfriend did a lot of these ones. Uh, her name's Ashley McMullen. She tattoos out of uh, Clifton Park, New York. A true tattoo. I have a duck hunt phone right there. I have a Nintendo controller right there. Metroid is my favorite uh, game of all time. Bob bomb Boo-boo. Boo-boo. And then I have a scene on the back. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, uh, Friday the 13th tattoo. Friday the 13th is one of my favorite horror series. Uh, Boozy Lose. I'm, I'm straight edge, so I got this. Is one of the first tattoos I actually got on my arm, and I had it done by a friend uh, who was apprenticing at the time, and he's gotten much better since then. Uh, I got, oh man, we got stuff. Legs. I got three oh. X's on my legs. It's a straight edge, obviously. It's got the Louis Vuitton print. Uh, instead of the LV for Louis Vuitton, I have my initials, which is VB for Vincent Bennett. I have a Modern Warfare 2 tattoo, because I love Modern Warfare 2. Uh, everybody in my band actually has this one. We got this one together. We did a tour, we did a tour with four Christian bands, and we were the only non-Christian band on it, so we all got Burning Bible tattoos with uh, Most Hated 09, because no one on that tour wanted to talk to us at all. It was just like, we were the ha most hated dudes on the entire tour. Which bands were it then? Uh, it was... Uh, and I don't want to talk bad about these dudes because yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them, but right. it's August Burns Red, Impending Doom, and Much Love My Bride. We just felt like we were the odd band out right. on, that t on that tour, and uh, I got it, and our merch guy got it, my bass player got it, my drummer got it, my guitar player got it. We all got the same tattoo, and I, it's the first tour tattoo we've ever gotten. Um, I, I don't know, I have, I have a ton more, but... Oh yeah, my throat. I just got this done. My girlfriend actually, she didn't do it, but she paid for it. It was a birthday present. Um, the guy I did his name is Dustin Horan. He also works at the Dead President's Lounge in Albany, New York. And uh, I don't know, you can't really see it because of my beard and shit, but it's a, there's a coffin right here with a diamond in it. And there's two sharks coming out of it, kind of representing the lifestyle I lead. You know, like, who knows where I'll be tomorrow. I might be lost at, I, I'm getting, actually getting lost at sea right here. Because who knows where I'll be tomorrow. I, I could be lost at sea. I'm in Europe right now. I could walk around this town, get lost, get stabbed, and no one know where I went. You know. How painful was that? Uh, it was terrible. This is at, this right here was terrible, and the further up you go, the worse it gets. So, it was awful. Don't get your, don't get it done. It's a life ruiner. You will ruin your life.